Starting out, every Ranger series beforehand is the same, except if I go back and retcon it, which I'll probably do for future rewrites, knowing me. Except uh, some big ones that I have to get off right now, like the three Org brothers from the Fire Mountain movie are the main villains in the Time Force Wild Force crossover because I love these suits. And they originally wanted to do them, but the suits were lost, but, you know, whatever. And RPM's theme is Demo 4, because it's way better than the actual theme song. So anyway, let's get to this. We open up on a close-up of the Money Morphin Red Ranger key in the command center. We hear a glass shatter and a hand take it. And we get a recap of the ending of Megaforce, uh, Zangak invaded, stuff blew up, the Megazord's trash, and the Megaforce Rangers had to run away, Robonites, like, comatose, because he's been internally damaged, and there's new Rangers who are impersonating the Mega Rangers. Oh no! And then picking up literally right after the ending of Megaforce, we see the Pirate Rangers morph into Power Rangers Pirate Armada or just the Pirate Rangers and then there's some fighting and we cut to the flagship of the Zangak invasion fleet we meet the main villain Prince Vakar along with one of his generals Argos and the scientist Lavira and they talk about how the invasion's going really well, but Lavira references how they can't find his brother, Rock. And Vicar's like, oh, well, that means I'm the crown prince now, and I'll conquer Earth, and I'll show him how it's done. Ha ha ha. And back to the fighting, we see the first actual transformation into a legendary form on screen where they turn into Power Ranger Samurai. Legendary form has a limited time, but it gives them the power of previous rangers. To morph into their previous rangers, they say legendary ranger mode, and then the morphing call of that ranger team. For example, with Samurai, they say legendary ranger form, go go Samurai. Or for the sake of time, they can just skip the legendary ranger form parts and just say the morphing call of that team. Or just if they're rapid firing through different legendary ranger forms, then they can just say what ranger they turn into. So like, they just say, oh, red SPD ranger or something like that. So then there's some fighting, but then we cut back to the command base and the Mega Rangers are discussing who could have stolen the Ranger keys and clean up the command base. And we see Dadas fixing Robo Knight. And Gosei shows on the blue screen thing footage of the fighting with the Pirate Rangers versus the Zangak. And so the Mega Rangers decide to go find them. We cut back to the action as we see them turn into Mystic Force. 
And then they charge their weapons to use their final wave attack against the monster that was leading the Xborgs. They blow them up, but then Lavira and Argos come down to Earth and reference, Hey, there are actually humans trying to resist us. How cute. So then they send some Xborgs to fight them, and the pirate rangers become the RPM rangers. They blow up the Xborgs. And we see that there are some people watching the fight happening. And then they turn into supersonic rangers. And to get this out of the way right now, yes, we will see some Sentai-only rangers. We will try to edit them out as much as possible. I mean, I just literally edited Dynaman out of this scene. But to save money for things later we would be editing out ranger teams only when necessary. So we will see Sentai only rangers, but we will actually explain who the hell they are and why haven't we seen them before. For instance, the supersonic rangers are actually canon, thank you Boom Studio Comics, and they are aliens from the same race as Time Force Green. And, I don't know, make a reference to, oh, Yellow One's like, oh, hey, finally, a ranger team that I recognize. So then there's more fighting, and the pirate rangers are about to turn into Mega Force, but then the figure who was watching jumps out in front of them and steals the keys, and it turns out to be Jake. The Mega Force team morphs, and the green pirate ranger references, hey, those must be the guys we stole the keys from. The Mega Rangers take out the Xborgs, Lavira and Argos leaves, and the two teams start arguing with each other. Gia is really mad that these pirates came into their lair and stole the keys from their master. Noah and Troy hold her back, and Troy tries negotiating with the pirates to please return the keys peacefully. And then the green pirate ranger runs up and he's like, Oh my god, it's the Mega Force Rangers. The red pirate ranger cuts him off and explains that no, he took these keys, they're ours now. And then the yellow one walks up and he's like, So yeah, now bug off, they're ours now. Jake and Gia are really mad now, but Troy tries to hold them back and... But the Red Pirate Ranger is refusing, and he references how he needs the powers to find the greatest treasure in the universe. Troy tries fighting the Red Captain, but he gets kicked back, and then the pirates draw their weapons, and then the Mega Rangers summon their weapons, and they begin the fight. Everyone except the Green Ranger, who gets beat up by Jake, are evenly matched. So the Mega Force combines their weapons into the Mega Force Blaster and tries to hit the pirates with a dynamic victory charge. But then the pirates try to hit them with a final wave! Both attacks meet and both Red Rangers are like, what the? And the blast explodes, sending both teams flying back and demorphs. This is the first time we see the Pirate Rangers demorphed, and Gia references, You're human? And then the one who used to be the Green Pirate is like, What were you expecting, giant lizards? And then the Pirate who was the Yellow Ranger smacks the Green Ranger in the back of the head. And the Blue Pirate's like, Humans aren't just from Earth. Reference to Power Rangers in space. But then the Red Galleon shows up and releases some ropes and the pirates get away. But the Mega Rangers have their specific keys back, except for Robo Knights. This is the first time we see any of the pirates all in a vacuum, so we get to actually know who they are. The Red Pirate, Captain Marvelous, the Serious Pirate, Captain. Joe, the swordsman with the heart of gold. Lindsay, the yellow pirate, who's a tomboy. Donnie, the green pirate, who's silly. And he has knowledge of every past ranger for 
reasons that will be explained later. And he's also like a little fanboy about past rangers. And Bailey DeBerry, a princess turned pirate who's really caring, but she'll still fight you. Along with their navigation and fortune telling mechanical avian, or Navi for short, who's played by the same actress who plays Circuit from Time Force because reference. The pirates made a plea wrong way set from Angel Grove. They choose to use Navi's fortune telling, which she uses, but she hits her head, and so the fortune is cryptic. A person dressed in black will provide the information you seek. So the team heads into town that they're flying over called Briarwood, but they run into trouble because all the people they see are dressed in black. So the rangers get a microphone and yell, Hey, does anyone know about the greatest treasure in the universe? And everyone looks at them weird, so they kind of just leave. So they go sell one of Bailey's rings and gets enough money to get some burgers or whatever. They're all about to bite into their burger, but Donnie gets bumped into and drops his. He's like, hey, what's the matter? We see some military guys dressed in the Starship Trooper armor we saw back in Lost Galaxy. And one of the army guys is like, civilian, this is a dangerous area. I'm asking you to please exit. There are monsters attacking. And then it cuts to one of the Zangax generals just blowing up buildings for fun. An ex Borg shooting at civilians. And some of the army guys try shooting at the ex Borgs and the monster, but they ain't got a snowball's chance in hell. As even more ex Borgs are released, the pirates start discussing if they should help. And Marvelous and Joe argue that they shouldn't because it's not their fight. They only fought the guys in episode one because they got in their way. Lindsay argues that they should at least get all the civilians out of the area. But Donnie is like, we should help all of them. I mean, look at the army guys getting like wrecked by the x -Borgs. This planet needs people to help them. And Bailey's like, if we don't help them, then it's just going to be like Miranoi, the pirate's home, which was conquered by the Zangak years ago. And everyone starts having a realization as see Emma fighting some ex -Borgs and Ernie's brain freeze and saving him. And then cuts to Noah clearing out the high school. So then the pirate rangers decide to help and fight the Zangak. And then there's some fighting. They turn into SPD and fighting. And then they turn into Ninja Storm. And then Forever Red Formation. And they turn into Mystic Force, Wild Force, Samurai, Operation Overdrive, and Jungle Fury Red. And yes, just like in Super Mega Force, we're editing Bo Kenger into Go Sager because. They did an actually really good job editing that in show. So, plus, they don't have the Ghost Azure keys or Mega Force keys, whatever. They blow them up, but Lavira reveals the new way of growing monsters with the prototype they built into the flagship. And then he grows along with three bruisers. And then the pirates hop into the Red Galleon and then into their specific swords and they fight a little. But then they fly into space. Their monitor tries to blow them up, but they still form the legendary Megazord. And they fight the Armada in space and blow up like a billion ships. And Vicar's like, ah, retreat! Get me out of here! Fall back somewhere safe! They stand victorious, but then does a black flip. And then comes back to Earth, fights some more, reveals the chest cannon. And they take out the monster with their final attack, Starburst. And then they celebrate on the Red Galleon. And it turns out that Navi was right. There's a person in black watching them. And they have a Magic Ranger symbol. 